Our region's business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in us all. And by Fregasso Financial Advisors. How different could your life be? Fee-based investment management securities offered through LPL Financial. Member FINRA SIPC. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, a few tips on transferring wealth. Plus, our region goes green with growing leadership in intelligent building technologies. In a few minutes, we'll find out what Bear Corporation is doing out at its corporate campus just off I-376 near Pittsburgh International Airport. But first, PNC's plans for a new headquarters building in downtown Pittsburgh in what just might be the greenest skyscraper ever built. Gary Solson is back with us today. He's Director of Corporate Real Estate with PNC, a sponsor of our region's business. And Marianne Geyer is Vice President for External Affairs at Point Park University. Uh, Point Park about to find itself neighbors to one of the greenest corners on earth. And welcome, good to see both of you. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gary, I'll start with you. I had you down here just a few weeks ago. You were holding out on us. You had this big announcement in your hip pocket. What, what, what's the rationale for the new building? Well, we, we have a, quite a few uh, buildings in Pittsburgh that we occupy and, and a couple million square feet of space and we're really growing a lot. Following the National City acquisition we had about 750 more people come to Pittsburgh than we had originally estimated. Our, our growth continues in Pittsburgh. We're very very much uh, dedicated to the city of Pittsburgh and specifically to downtown Pittsburgh and we have a need for additional space so this new building which is the tower at PNC Plaza will provide us with long-term growth and a new corporate headquarters for PNC and for Pittsburgh. And it took a while to acquire the property. Caddy corner from your current headquarters, right, in downtown Pittsburgh? Yeah, I've actually been working on this since about 2009. Wow. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a project that has been a process, certainly, mm -hmm. uh, and it's nice to be in a position where we can announce the project and move forward. Now, really exciting. I think we got some images there. That's the view from Market Square looking uh, looking kind of up Fifth Avenue and up Forbes toward the new building. Been built as a green building. What's, what's going to make this uh, so unusually green? Well, this is going to be the world's greenest sky rise. And we really like to call it a sky it's rise because rise. it yeah. differentiates itself from other buildings around the world. Uh, we've really looked at the top performing green and energy efficient buildings worldwide and we've looked at the metrics that earn them that classification and we feel pretty confident that the building we're going to build will surpass those metrics. Well, I, I want to come back to the image that we just flashed up there. It was the interior view because I think it, it does bear some explanation. It looks like an extraordinary open interior. So can you explain what we're seeing in the, in the image there? Sure. We're looking at an atrium that really runs the length of the building and then conference rooms that will overlook the, the lobby and the atrium itself. So as we try to do in all of our buildings, we want to bring as much natural light into the building as possible. We are looking for transparency. A lot of financial institutions aren't really very transparent, but we are. We want people to see what we're doing, that we're working. Uh, we think our employees are very, very hardworking people, and we think that goes hand in hand with the background of Pittsburgh and its reputation for having hardworking people. But in this case, we're also going to have a very hardworking building. So from an energy efficiency perspective, an environmental perspective, and a sustainability perspective, this will be a hard-working building. Wow, really exciting. Uh, what a terrific new neighbor for Point Park University that has been expanding itself in that, along that Wood Street corridor of downtown Pittsburgh it, for the past decade or it so. It has. Well, PNC gives us something to aspire to. You know, certainly <laughs> all of their projects have acted as uh, kind of sparks that made all of us sit back and say, how can we do something that's compatible and really enhance the work that PNC has done along Fifth Avenue. So we really welcome such a, a iconic development that's going to be happening along Forbes and Fifth. It really feathers in with the Academic Village initiative that the university and the community have been helping to build for the last three plus years. And we think it's just going to add to the vibrancy up and down that Wood Street corridor and how exciting to have students rubbing shoulders with bank executives and those hardworking folks <laughs> from PNC and people visiting and folks that will want to come see the world's largest green 
uh, opportunity. So well, and, and interesting thing about since the construction of three PNC Plaza, well, how that's invigorated sort of Lower Fifth and Market Square, and what's happened there. I mean, this seems to have the potential to do the same thing heading uh, Wood Street on, on up to the Mon River. It does, and and we can feel that energy coming out of Market Square, and certainly what the Academic Village Initiative is currently doing. If you're downtown, lots of construction, good construction though, as Wood Street corridor is being rebuilt, a brand new green urban park coming out of the ground at the Boulevard and Wood Street, and all of that energy heads and intersects right there with Forbes and Fifth. So I think uh, as your work begins and we continue the work of the Academic Village, there's going to be a lot more excitement in that core that has been been kind of such a challenge for so long, but its time has come. Well, and it's great to have beautiful new state-of-the-art building, but as we all know, in Pittsburgh, we have affection for, for some of our old buildings and our traditional architecture. I understand you've got plans to really reach into the community and try to make sure everybody can embrace this project? Yeah, we, we're going to hold a community charrette and receive feedback from people throughout the community, people who live in downtown and work in downtown, architects, engineers. Uh, and just the general citizenry in order to help us look at some of the best practices with regard to this development. We want this to be not only a special building for, for PNC, but obviously a special building for Pittsburgh. Are there any, uh, you know, you've built these green buildings, that, you know, the first side, this large, uh, large footprint, 3 PNC is more of a sky rise, I suppose. As you build them more in the skyscraper mold, are there different challenges or different things you have to do to maintain sort of the, the, the greenness of a building? Well, 3 PNC was particularly challenging because there's four different parts to it. So there's the Fairmont Hotel and an office section, uh, condominiums as well as parking garage. In the case of this office building, it's challenging in that we will be doing things that have never been done before. And we're really looking at best practices worldwide and bringing in technology. Uh, we're looking at how our users use the building. We're looking at energy consumption. We're looking at energy consumption on a per person basis. We're looking at literally every component that goes into the building so that we can be sure we're really gaining energy efficiency and buying the right uh, components for the building. And we're partnering with manufacturers right now so that we're uh, working with their R&D groups to ensure that when we open a building in 2015, we're going to have 2015 technology, hmm. not 2010 or 11 technology because we're planning the building now. So we're working with PPG and others who manufacture a variety of components for buildings and furniture manufacturers for that for that matter in order to ensure that we're getting the latest and greatest. Wow. Likely groundbreaking at uh, Target right now? I think we'll start the deconstruction in January of 2012, January, okay. February. Uh, and groundbreaking will commence shortly thereafter. All right, well, really exciting. Well, what a new monumental addition to the Pittsburgh skyline and to the community and, and the neighborhoods right in the heart of downtown. Absolutely, All yeah. Right. Marianne Geyer from Point Park University, Gary Salsa from PNC, thank you both so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Next up, Bayer's plans to green its corporate campus and showcase the material science that can make buildings more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Stay with us.